Hello to all and welcome to the December 20th through to the 21st of 2023 spiritual advice reading. So we're going to have the waxing gibbous moon, this realization that you are on the right path in Aries. So there's going to be this strong energy to uh, hurry up and make a decision, but spirit's advice with that moon in Aries is to slow down, maintain energies of peace and love. For stability and peace and tranquility are indeed on their way. There's going to be a stronger energy of communication when the moon goes into Gemini around the 24th to the 26th. A strong desire to share good news with those around you. So, because we have this on the right path energy on the 20th and the 21st of December, I've been guided to the Enchanted Map Deck by Colette Baron reed Okay. Yeah, so there's an awareness here that uh, whatever you've been working on or towards, it is actually being born into uh, your physical world. In fact, look at we've got the 21st. So for some, it could be on the 21st of December, there's this awareness here that your hard work has indeed paid off, which of course puts the collective into the energy of the making a choice card. So that's in the thoughts position. Uh, so something is being born and at some point here, uh, there is going to be a call here to make a decision. Now in the relationship sector, if you are connecting with another or others on the 20th and 21st, and uh, you are concerned in any way about a relationship to another or others, Spirit is stepping in, offering a lot of signs here uh, via music, uh, uh, things you hear on the radio, uh, people passing by, and so on. So see, in the creative aspects position, there's a call with this number one energy uh, that you, someone here is coming into an awareness of what they're passionate about, that they're enjoying what they do, they're doing what they love, and that it is in time, is indeed time, to go into the direction of what is unfolding here. One path, uh, connection, circumstance, situation, or the other. Look at your actions are bringing in pe uh, these peaks of joy energies. And uh, emotionally, there's this desire to learn more. So if you've been thinking about teaching, guiding, helping, learning something new, spirit saying, and I'm feeling this is more so for those who have already been um, working on something. There is this awareness here that uh, your efforts are finally paying off and that you're just kind of trying to decipher this new path. Should I go? When should I go? Uh, I know that I'm feeling very joyful. That is what I am learning here on the 20th and the 21st of December. Subconsciously, we have the Wizard of Awareness card. So Spirit stepping in, helping the collective to come into an awareness, to watch for the signs and synchronicities, right? Maybe you're receiving more subscribers, you're making more sales, you're coming into connection with new clients or new opportunities and directions. So here we have uh, in the day-to-day -day aspects position on the 20th or the 21st of December, some form of unexpected uh, awareness, an unexpected visitor, a brand new path developing as a result of your hard work and beautiful energies of joy. So in the inner strengths position with the moonlight card, this is just about overcoming any worries, concerns, obstacles, and challenges by loving what you do and doing what you love, maybe working deep into the night, uh, enjoying what you are uh, creating and uh, recognizing that you're overcoming certain obstacles, even if they're just negative thoughts, worries, and concerns, and you're stepping into the direction now of success. So I'm going to confirm and clarify with a three card summary and the same enchanted map deck. So we have the magic uh, prayer card, the commitment card, and the deep freeze. So, uh, whatever you've been praying for, Spirit saying you're going to be flying above the maze of your life, seeing your path from beginning to end. This is manifesting with another or others, uh, coming into an awareness that people see you, they want to work with you, they want to support you or uh, guide you. Yeah, 
Uh, there's this awareness that I am exactly where I was meant to be. I'm doing exactly what I was meant to do. Uh, or I am going into the direction of this golden palace. I'm going into the direction of a business, an organization, or a more financially abundant and stable situation. Yes, there's going to be some form of encouragement that comes from others and spirit saying <clears throat> those are the signs uh, that others want to uh, work with you, buy from you, support you, and what you are manifesting. Okay, so we have intentions with the owl. We have all of this knowledge and wisdom as guiding the collective, not only towards one, but towards two different people, places, circumstances, situations. And of course, there's going to be a call to make a decision as to which commitment, partnership, or contract you should come together or go towards. Okay, come together with. So Spirit's trying to bring this beautiful magical stream energy saying what you are learning is going to start to bring this beautiful ebb and flow energy back into your life. Uh, where there was the goblin energy of fear, worry, and concern. So Spirit's saying in order to heal from that which has been burdening you, you need to recognize that there is a beautiful treasure within you uh, that Spirit's nudging you to open up and share with the world around you. Yes, one path, circumstance, situation is coming to a close. And it's helping you to come apart from a person, place, circumstance, situation that you were in. Unexpected visitors are coming in uh, for many around the 21st of December. And of course, after a lot of hard work, now comes energies of joy. So for many, I've been hearing when it comes to a home, uh, creating a new home environment, uh, connecting with others in the area of home or family. Slowly but surely, <clears throat> you are headed in the right direction. So you may have been feeling as though things haven't been moving as quickly as you would like, but that's because spirit is slowing things down in order to transpire in the highest, best way. So remain balanced and trust that when the magical map shifter energy shows up, uh, this is spirit shifting you into a direction that is blessed, a, a direction of great balance. And strength. Look at it. So Spirit is saying to the collective, the world is wide open to many people, places, and opportunities. And we're continuing to give the collective the strength to create a foundation of contentment and peace. So by the end of the day, I think of the 21st, there's going to be many that are back in this energy of a deep freeze, just kind of observing what has transpired in relation to another or others and a new path of success. Coming into the awareness that I have received some form of wisdom that is confirming for me that a proverbial wish has come true, right? I planted these seeds and now I am receiving clarity after a lot of little details. I am recognizing that my efforts are paying off <clears throat> pardon me, and that I can now move into a new direction, start a new path that I am excited about. So yeah, after sitting in solace, feeling energies of sadness, spirit saying we are helping to create change, uh, to bring something new to life so that the collective can ride the wave, can go with the flow. Yeah, so there's a new path a new situation by which you have not yet experienced thus far, but there's going to come an awareness <clears throat> maybe by the end of the year on the 31st of December uh, that you are automatically acclimating to this beautiful new direction. Some may be actually cleaning up and packing their home and moving. Others, it's like this new path is helping you to be freed from worry and concern in your thoughts. So, yeah, your prayers, if you are, have been praying, are helping you to fly high into this energy of joy. So take action to research something, figure out uh, what a beautiful and solid foundation represents to you um, because someone's going to come towards you. I think that is a spiritual union uh, and an assistance by spirit, uh, an awareness here that, oh my gosh, uh, this is this is where spirit is trying to guide me towards this person or group of people. All right, so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the Lenormand deck by Gerald Marchetti. 
confirmation and clarification, please, regarding this circle spread and the 21st, 20th and 21st of December. So see, clarity is arriving with the sun shining through the clouds, right? So there, was a there were clouds of confusion, but here comes the sun. I am now making a decision regarding someone via community, society, social media, technology. Uh, there are some maybe who have been connecting with someone already, and you're starting to recognize uh, that it's starting to be decision time, or that decision time has come. So there may be some anxiety about connecting with another or others, and that's why Spirit's stepping in with the listening card, saying watch for the signs, for the signs will bring clarity. It'll bring you into an awareness that a new path has begun. So here we go. Number one and number one. Your creative efforts, whatever you are trying to create, whatever you've been working on or towards, Spirit's bringing this beautiful aha moment in the form of this rainbow, saying there is a brand new path developing. So go excitedly into the direction of the signs that Spirit's trying to bring, even if you're feeling a little bit anxious. See, some form of communication or paperwork, and for some, it may take until the 27th. It's just a matter of how much effort you've been putting in. Your actions of communication, sending out resumes, CVs, or just communication with others is what is bringing these beautiful energies of peaks of joy. So we have marriage, commitment, partnership, contract, in the emotional aspects position. Someone here on the 20th and 21st is learning about a commitment, partnership, or contract via community, society, social media, technology that you have created for yourself an opportunity to manifest your dreams. And what's coming from this is decision time and peaks of joy. So subconsciously, we have this beautiful, magical, golden compass, uh, the awareness that spirit is trying to guide you into the direction of the highest, best commitment, partnership, or contract, whether this is professional or personal. So some have been feeling a bit burdened day to day because you were hoping that eventually someone would come along and offer you something unexpected. And that's what this clarity represents. Uh, you've worked towards something, you've prayed hopefully, and now there are signs helping to free you from this anxiety, helping for you to go excitedly into the direction of a new person or group of people. So what we have in the inner strengths position is the snake energy representing fear. Okay, this number seven is a confirmation numerologically that your efforts indeed, right, working late at night, putting effort in day to day, is what is going to open in a uh, uh, triumphant doorway. Clarity is coming regarding some form of communication or paperwork. So if it hasn't shown up on the 20th or 21st, it's right around the corner. It's between the 25th and 27th for some. So the 25th, we have that Gemini energy of sharing good news. On the 27th, we have a full moon um, in Cancer, so a turning point. Wishes developing whereby the collective can finally breathe and find peace, a sense of safety. So in a three-card summary, we have the ship, the mask, and the child energy. So going into the direction of a... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I'm feeling more so into the direction of money. Yes, bringing a quick and swift ending uh, to this energy of uh, feeling stuck, burdened day to day. In some cases, there is going to come some form of unexpected attention and recognition that's going to ignite this passion within, that's going to make many feel this energy of the sun, feeling like a kid again giving birth to a project, idea, direction, or two, uh, maybe a new home, spirit saying uh, greater things are coming in those areas. So yeah, there is a divinely timed path that is blessed. Kind words and messages are going to show up. Unexpected responses or people are going to step forward and help for you to recognize that you can now cross this beautiful magical golden bridge uh, beyond this energy of confusion into the direction of movement. So I do feel like there are some masculines who are waiting uh, to take action here. 
um, and some feminines who are kind of looking at them and spirits bringing a lot of hope to the situation in general where maybe there was anxiety so spirit is saying again with this pathway card like we saw in the thoughts position and for some it may again take until the 30th or 31st of december you will overcome certain obstacles and challenges and eventually make a decision uh, to go into the direction of a new path a new chapter in your life so there's a lot of hope when it comes to meetings and negotiations or that is what spirit is trying to bring so after a state of confusion, which way did we go? Am I making a mistake, right? Now spirit saying, as you continue to ground yourself day to day, as you continue to communicate, as you continue to work hard on certain projects, ideas, or directions, there's going to come this aha moment that you have indeed found a path that is stable and secure, something that truly inspires you. For some, you may be connecting with a specific person, trying to decipher, uh, should I devote myself to them? Will they devote themselves to me? But regardless, there's going to be this awareness through communication with others that this wisdom that is arriving is divinely timed. Yes. So new paths, spirit saying, look closely for eventually we are going to bring what you have been w hoping for to a to a an existence in your real life. So wishes coming true, sweeping away from maybe a passionate masculine going into the direction of someone new who's either been a little bit distance distant or who may actually be at a distant. In some cases, there is someone who is in a leadership position with that passionate masculine who's very passionate about the work that they do, or this is the energy that's developing within you. So Spirit's saying, should an opportunity arise when it comes to a business or organization, definitely research uh, that opportunity because Spirit's saying, you will know that you know that they are divinely... Um, inspired connections and that what's on offer here is a beautiful and solid foundation yeah so they're really talking to those who were uh, feeling stuck or trapped in their circumstances uh, trying to sneak away from an op a situation where they were feeling a little bit stuck and spirits saying we're giving you the strength to not fear the dreams we want to manifest for you but to find clarity uh, through communication because peaks of joy are what lie right around the corner. <clears throat> so I'm going to close with a message from the Witches Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan. Astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is referring to or who may be talking about. So see, there's clarity here that your dreams have come true and that with the fool card, spirit saying, take a risk, hop, skip and jump into the manifestation of a brand new path. For giving you the strength to reach out and connect via community, society, social media, technology, so that a choice can be made. A quick and unexpected action may be called for here, where you can leave behind the Seven of Wands, a situation where you were not aware of your direction. Uh, for some, here comes this passion and excitement. I'm now going excitedly into the direction of a brand new path. Uh, and the passion and excitement in my life is returning because of some form of unexpected person. Okay, so in the actions position, we have communication, kind words and messages, offers and opportunities that are bringing great joy by the end of the 21st for some of the collective. Kind words and messages uh, that may take until the 25th, or 7th, I'm getting the 30th or the 31st, but Spirit's saying with the Nine of Wands, don't give up. Don't give up. Continue to put the work in, for you're going to learn uh, about a commitment, partnership, or contract here uh, after a lot of hard work. So definitely reach out and know that eventually a choice is going to come to mind here on the 20th and the 21st. In the meantime, Spirit saying in the subconscious position with the Temperance Angel, we are just helping for the collective to remain balanced throughout these couple days here and trust that you're going to come into an awareness through signs from Spirit about the direction you are meant to go, right? Towards a path 
of peace, joy, and happiness. So we do have some here who don't want to look at the truth of a situation, some who are indecisive about what to do here. But Spirit's saying we're trying to free the collective from the energy of burden by bringing in unexpected and blessed communications from others. So here we have in the inner strengths position, I worked hard, I was sitting in this energy of fear, but now I know because of these kind words and messages here, these peaks of joy that I can leave behind, uh, empty cups, unfulfillment. So we have a lot of excitement here with the king of wands energy, transformation, and a wish development, helping the collective to leave troubled waters, worries, and concerns behind. The good news you've been waiting for is arriving. It just may have taken a while with the Knight of Pentacles energy that is putting the collective into this beautiful energy of the sun. Feeling like a kid again. So things are going to speed up here. There may be a lot of indecision about money or things of the material, like a home. But Spirit's saying we are bringing a path of success where you can finally cut away from the burdens of indecision or feeling stuck. Yes, wait for it. Yep, because something's going to go full circle to help free the collective from energies of heartache. So follow your intuition on the 20th and 21st, where you're going to recognize uh, that, yes, indeed, there was maybe a shadow side of your energy where you weren't uh, going excitedly forward. So it's about a shift in perspective, trusting in spirit, that eventually the messages you are waiting are coming. So they're talking to those who are kind of just stuck in this energy of, I don't know what to do. I want to sneak away from my circumstances. Or can I trust those around me? But spirit's saying, here we go, eight of pentacles. It could very well be here on the 20th and the 21st where an opportunity comes to a mind to your mind an unexpected conversation that leads you to a point of indecision and spirit saying don't worry uh, for what lies ahead of this, the ten of pentacles great financial abundance and stability uh, long-term traditional uh, celebrations and then you can lay down what weighs heavy upon you. So we have exciting communication coming in. Spirit saying, wait for it. You are not stuck or trapped in your circumstances. We are helping you to excitedly give birth to a brand new path of success. What lies ahead is travel into the direction of great emotional fulfillment or just the overcoming of certain obstacles, traveling physically or metaphorically into the direction of success right making a decision between maybe two and finding yourself in this position of the queen of cups male or female i'm sorry pentacles stability and security an exciting new chapter a new home or family situation so the communication you're waiting for especially in the area of money is going to come in and it's going to bring joy so uh, definitely keep me updated like you guys always do via the comment section or your emails. I greatly appreciate that confirmation. Um, should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or maybe you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've already come to me for your year of 2024 readings and or who've been gifting these to others. I am still offering the uh, fall soon to be winter special, which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares and those subscribes but most importantly a great big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day take care and god bless